How to remove dye from hair. Oops. Your dye job did not quite turn out the way you wanted it to. Luckily, there are several ways you can try to remove dye from your hair. Feel free to try more than one of these techniques, or the same technique multiple times, if you aren't seeing the desired results. Keep in mind that these methods will work best if you try them immediately after dyeing your hair, and are most effective on semi or demi permanent dyes. Dandruff Shampoo and Baking Soda Purchase Dandruff Shampoo. You can get this at any drug or grocery store. It will be labeled clearly as a dandruff product. Head and Amp, Shoulders and Original Formula Prel are popular options. Dandruff shampoo is a little more heavy duty than normal shampoo. People with dandruff have excess sebum that causes the skin to flake off, necessitating a stronger formula. Dandruff shampoo is a little more heavy duty than normal shampoo. People with dandruff have excess sebum that causes the skin to flake off, necessitating a stronger formula. Grab some baking soda. Make sure it's baking soda and not baking powder. The packaging often looks similar, but baking powder will not work for this. Baking soda is a natural although not strong bleaching agent. Mix the shampoo and baking soda together in equal parts. You can mix them together in a container, or just pour equal parts of each into the palm of your hand. It doesn't have to be exact. Shampoo your hair with the mixture. Work up a nice lather, then let the mixture sit on your hair for a few minutes before you rinse it out. Rinse thoroughly. You will see the hair color running out when you rinse. You can wash your hair with this solution several times, if necessary. This works best if you have recently dyed your hair, rather than several months later.